Alrighty, hello everybody. My name is Unreal Talk and I welcome you all back to Interactive Studios where we showcase the latest and greatest games that are available at your favorite retailers. As you can see, today's game is a Minecraft and the awesome thing is it's available. Caves and Cliffs update part one dropped the other day. It is update 1.17 and it features quite a few new things which we can go over once we actually start playing. Part two will be dropping later later in the year so they've separated the update which i think is good because that way we get to enjoy all the the new features in smaller segments i feel like if there was just too much we would not know what to do <laughs> and it gives them you know behind the scenes enough time to perfect everything and really take on our feedback about part one which i think is the best thing that they could do as i mentioned it's available so check it out not only at your favorite retailers but also on xbox game pass and xbox game pass ultimate where you can find loads and loads of games about a hundred plus um, you can have access to both pc and xbox platforms and also some xbox live gold check it out any questions that you have send them through that chat as we are here to interact with everyone and have an awesome time showcasing one of my favorite games alquina hello how are you going today? All right, let's start. So you can also grab some gift cards, right, for your preferred platforms where you can purchase mine coins. As you can see, there are loads and loads of things in here. Deluxe furniture, like there's trophies. There's a globe. There's a chessboard. One day um, when I have mine coins, I do want to purchase something from here and just see like how different it is. Because I'm very traditional when it comes to Minecraft. I like to spawn into a world and just do survival but there are so many incredible worlds there's texture packs there's items uh there's just so many things here so check it out uh, if you've got mine coins to spend go and spend them but for now i'm just gonna play my survival game that is great to hear arquina i'm awesome thank you for asking okay so let's go Bit of a backstory. I went on an adventure to find the desert and boy was it a long adventure. Finally found the desert so I could find some cactus so then I can make green dye and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the dye. But first things first, let's put some of these in the blast furnace, get them going. Okay, and then in this one, I'm just going to put a bit. All right, I'm excited to make some green dye. So loads of new things have dropped in with the new update. We've got candles, there's mountain goats, there's axolots, there are glow squid, which produce glow ink, which you can use to make a glow um, item frame. Oh, I will show you. You can actually, so once you have a sign that has text on it, <coughs> excuse me, you can make the ink glow just like I have here. And I just think it looks sick. It looks so cool. But yeah, that's that. It's pretty cool. And there's um, other new features as well, which we'll go to. There's dr pointed dripstone. There's dripstone blocks. I'm not entirely sure what we can do with this yet. I think if you were to place a dripstone and you had water above it, you can put a cauldron and it should collect water. I mean, I would love to test that out. Oh, hey, we need coal. Finally, green dye. Oh, so excited. All right, let's just put some of these away i don't even remember collecting these there's also a deep slate which i really want to use to craft with i don't know where we're going to use it but we're going to use it that's right um let's put the redstone away we have these berries i don't know what we do with them like whether we can plant them so i might keep them in my inventory just to, to suss out. Alright, 
if we're making green dye, we obviously need other colors too. We need lime, which I think we use white dye. It's going to tell us anyway. And I think we have to, to make cyan. Oh, we can make cyan. Ah, oh, we need blue dye. Oh, we've got it. And we've got lime. And we have green. Right, let's sleep first before we do anything. Oh, I left my bed behind, remember? Right, I don't think it's night time anyway. Okay, I need to fix this staircase. So we're just going to do a lot of um, building, a lot of crafting, just a lot of landscaping today. That's the plan. Ooh, um, I am not the right person to go to for ideas. I'm always left thinking, what should I do next? That we've got lime and where's the green? So I do need more sheep. Maybe I should breed them first because I want two of every color and I'm going to expand this. All right, that's one of the first things we're going to do, expand it. I'm going to need lots of dirt. That's clearly not enough dirt because I feel bad. I feel like... It's not enough space for them. Yeah, we ran out already. All right, let's let's breed them first. Hey, who left this gate open? You already made an Xbox car though. So you could make something else, maybe make a Minecraft themed car. That would look pretty cool. So I do need to have a villager in here who's going to be my farmer. So we need someone to automatically plant my crops. Now, I was talking before about how I'm going to do that, whether I use a cart system, so a railway, or if I use the nether portal, just to uh, make, make, make it easier to travel between interest points. I don't know, we'll figure that out. For now, let's just focus on one thing at a time, and that is making more sheep. Okay. Okay, there we go. Because I want to have two of every color in there. We're going to have to breed all the sheep anyway. And we'll just recolor them. They made a blue one. Okay, the blue one's going to be the cyan one. Actually, let's just make blue. Oh, it's already blue. What am I doing? It's already blue. Let's see what color they make. They made a pink one. Yeah, you should do that. I think that'd be really cool. All right, who's ready? They're not ready to eat. We finally have lime. All right, you can be lime as well. Can we make these two breed? Yes. Let's see what colors they come up with. Green. Oh, no, they're lime. White. Okay, perfect. Then we can color them. Oh, I need a yellow. All right, I'm going to go to sleep because at night time, monsters appear and we don't want them to attack me or possibly blow up when I'm trying to make colorful sheep. We do need more beds. That's something I also have to make. So we've got a lot of things we can do around the place. 
Okay, there's just one in here. Let's just go here. It's close by. So I'm going to need... Or I'm going to need more dye. And I should leave a chest or I should have a barrel. Let's make a barrel to leave downstairs. So we can have um, the dye in there and just make it more accessible. So we'll make sure we have every color, which we do now because we finally found green dye. All right, we should probably get rid of some things. decent amount of iron and um, diamond. I forgot what it was called for a second. Right, let's get rid of the slime. Alright, we want to make sure we have every colour, like I said. Now, to make a barrel... We need wood and I think sticks. Okay, uh, let's put these, let's put the sticks away. I uh, know the sticks, sorry, the string. Uh, that's where I put that. I really want to decorate with that, but for now we'll just leave it. Um, we need to make sure we have every color. Do we need yellow? Just use all the yellow. We've got light blue, we have cyan, we have green. We'll make some white. A barrel, that's what we need. I think there's something walking above. You can hear it. Where's a barrel? Ah, oh, that's right. Slabs. We need slabs. Of course we've run out of space. Okay, let's go. Why is it always a creeper? Right, good. Didn't do any damage. Okay, so we, like I said, we need two of every color. We've got enough pink. We need purple. Now we need another magenta one. We need to breed you with someone. 
Jaeger. <laughs> We have too many pink. Okay, we should have two of every color. I think in this one, it's quite huge. We could we could end up having three of every color. Let's see what I think they're gonna make brown. Yeah, they did. So now we just need one more red. So we'll come back to that one. Let's see what yellow and lime will make. Oh, they made... Okay, so perfect. Now we just need... You can be green. No, stay in there. You can be green. And the baby one can be green. Close the gate, close the gate. Okay, no one's escaping today. So now we just need a yellow. Aww, this is so good. Oh wait, why is this still... What color am I missing? I'm missing green. No, lime. We're missing lime. Oh, I don't have any more lime. Oh wait, we can make it. So the one that I was supposed to color green... Or green... I colored yellow. No. Something like that. But there we go. We've got two of every color. Perfect. Now, this one here. I think we just need one more sheep. Because there's two, four. Yeah, there's five. Who wants to eat? So we've got three light blues. And we need a cyan. Oh, the cyan is so nice. So is the light blue, actually. I think I want to make my bed out of light blue. Okay, now it's just... So this one's done. This one's not done. We need to feed the... Oh, I've run out of wheat. We need to get more. So what color? We just need another red. We need one more red. That one's done. Now the middle is not done yet. So we have two white. We need, we've got two black. So we just need one more gray one. All right, we need to go get some more wheat. Or oh, we could just break these down. So I'm thinking I actually make a stall here for the wheat, for um, wheat and wool. I do want to have like a marketplace. Maybe we can start building one of those, but it has to be a bit further down away from here. But we might, we can put like a wool, a wool one here. Anyway, what color we need? We need red, which I don't have red dye. What about the one here? We've got our two white. We need black. Which we don't have as well. Why don't we have black dye? Okay, that's fine. We can figure that out. So you need red and black dye. Ah, uh, that's right, from the squid and red, we need the flower. For now, let's just put all the dye in here. I've just got chests everywhere. Now barrels of just random things. This always happens. Oh. 
So I'm thinking we actually change this whole look and use the black, the black uh, deep slate. I think that will look sick. Before we do that, we do need to extend this out. Hope nothing spawns behind me and kills me. I'm thinking we go out one more as well. We have to extend it all the way over there too. Because we are going to need to probably try fence it off as well. I'm actually thinking we build like a really nice feature wall of something, whether we use terracotta or we use um, just a pattern of things. Just to kind of fence this all off or even possibly glass. I know, we've got a lot that we can do. So we're going to bring this one out. Just make it probably one more wide. I don't think it needs to be too wide. Should I keep this, the, how about we go make some deep slate fence and figure out which one I actually want to use. And then I'll probably put either a stall here or I'll just put barrels. Although the stalls can have barrels. How about that idea? <laughs> Let's go to our uh, underground inventory slot. <gasps> oh. Just gonna go into my little hut all right let's see what we've got do we have any uh black dye in here maybe we can use some of the uh warped stuff who knows Yeah, I'm going to need a stone cutter. It's one of the first things I just realized that I need and I don't have. Mm, how cool does that look? It looks so good. Maybe we can use it to surround my, my place. I don't know. It just looks so good. I just want to use it. It's the tile slabs. They're my favorite, and I think I'm going to use them as flooring. Just seeing what else there is. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Every time Minecraft releases new blocks, I just want to build with it. <laughs> Well, the stores that I'm going to make should be made out of wood. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use oak or dark oak. That's the thing. Maybe oak and dark oak, a mixture of them. Um, we need to go to bed. Do I need anything else? So 
So there's also new copper blocks, uh, which are actually pretty cool that you can use with wax, so honey, to make other blocks. Oh, tinted glass. How nice is that? That is so nice. So that's using, if we have a look, it's using the amethyst, which um, is in the amethyst biome, which is underground in caves. I haven't found that yet. We did find the dripstone biome, but not the amethyst one yet. Just seeing if there's anything else. So that's the glow item frame that I was talking about. It actually glows the item that's in it as well. But it doesn't emit a lot of light. Like surrounding light. They're the candles which are super cool. We've got some blue candles already on display. What is that? Oh yeah, the dripstone block. I just don't know what the dripstone block would be used for. Let's see if we can um, smelt it or... Just have a look. No. What about actual pointed dripstone? You got to be careful with that because if you fall on pointed dripstone, <laughs> you're going to die. You can definitely die. Um, maybe we can't really use it. I think it's just for decoration and other things as well. We've got packed ice. We've got obsidian. Blackstone's also something that I like to build with. is quite nice. Right, I think we'll... Um... Do I even have wool to make a bed? Shall we go out? Let's get to building. So I, I think I really want to finish the the area that I have for the sheep. I think we just get that out of the way. Um, in order for us to do that, we're going to need heaps of stone, which we don't have, which means we need cobblestone. We don't even have cobblestone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's just take all of this and we're gonna have to burn them upstairs i cannot believe we don't have cobblestone maybe one stack of one stack what has happened i think every time i go mining and i come back i just never bring back cobblestone Actually, I do have cobblestone because look. No, I don't. Where did all my cobblestone go? Unless I left it down here. So I built this on Thursday. Just so if I need materials like cobblestone, we've got a source of them. And we can also go mining for other things as well. This is another area that I do need to fix up, but that can just wait for now. Let's do one thing at a time. So we do have some furnaces up here. Oh, there's food. Yum.
Do I have a shovel? Do I have a normal shovel? I don't want to use this one. Got silk touch. Should wait, I don't even need a shovel. What do I need a shovel for? Just jump, jumping on some dirt. We need a silk touch pickaxe, that's what we need. I think that chicken has been stuck under that water there since the beginning, the beginning of time. I can honestly believe it has been stuck there for that long. Okay. Let's patch that up. So I do think I want to bring this out. We're probably going to move this tree. Bring it out and maybe build a staircase. I want to get rid of this as well. Change it up. So should... I don't know if I should change that. I think the black would look really, really good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be my little crafting area. Wait, which one do I want to use? That looks good. Or that one. No, I think this one. This one I like a lot. So let's have a look. I should have just done one, but I did the whole stack. Oops. I think I like black. I really do. This is really nice. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with black. Let's do it. It looks good with the grand in it because it does have grey tones in it. Although maybe wood would be best. Yeah, the stone looks weird. You know what? I'm going to do one with the black, one with stone and see what I like. They're trying to escape. Look at them. Oops, no. Oh, I don't have any stone. Die, that's fine. Heh <laughs> you can't escape. I'm just waiting for one of them to make a run for it. Let's see what it looks like from up above. I 
don't think I like there's too many colors there's way too many colors I want it to be just nice and simple but I just can't decide on what I like hey that's nice prismine they're way too hard to get though I don't know what to do I think if I was to do black, I might get rid of the foundation underneath. But it looks good. Like, the foundation looks good. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we could use these. No. At the end of the day, it's what you like. Um, so don't, you know, don't be like, oh, I, I don't want to take too long deciding on what I want it to look like. Because at the end of the day, it's your Minecraft world. You've got the blocks there to use. So use them, you know, have fun exploring and seeing different design ideas. Which is what I like to do. Now, the black is is nice. Like, I really like the deep slate. But I don't think it... Actually, it brings out the colours a lot more of the sheep. Maybe I should find another gate. That's the thing. Unless, actually, I do no gates. Um, and we do a carpet. So then we can go in and out. It's just the fact that there's, you know, the two stone looking things. And then you've got um, the wood, which I just don't think goes. Because there's no other gates. Maybe birch wood would go. We're just going to get rid of the fences. Like, we actually do not need... Do you see that? Oh, don't look at the Enderman. So this is what DJ said. It's going to spawn monsters. The Enderman's looking at... Why are there so many different coloured sheep? I need it to be daytime. I cannot work under these conditions. <laughs> I just can't work with monsters because, you know, you could be focused on one thing and next thing you know, boom. No, you hear, tss, boom, <laughs> it's the creeper or an enderman. Oh, he's on fire. Poor thing. All right, Enderman is gone. So we, you know what? All we need to do is just place torches, possibly lanterns. I think lantern would look really good. Maybe like a soul, soul sand lantern. Why do I always run out of space? That always, always happens. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pull lanterns. They look good. Yeah, look, I'm going to do deep slate, but we're going to get rid of that fence. And we're just going to put a carpet. I think I've made my mind up. And you know what? If I end up changing it, I've got the, as long as I have the resources to do it, 
I'm gonna do it. The only thing is, I'm most likely going to run out of deep sleep. <laughs> they tried to run out. That was a close one. Yeah, I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna need so, so much more. Like, so much more of it to, to do all of this. Move this one right next to the pickaxe. If they escape, I'll just lure them back in. Oh, we just, you know what? We're not gonna let them escape. Simple. So we need to go make heaps of lanterns. We're not going to have enough. That was close, buddy. I saw that. We're literally one short for this one. I honestly like the black deep slate so much better. Now I just need to make some lanterns. I don't have any iron on me, so I'm going to have to go down and get some iron. all of the deep slate all right we're just gonna have to make more we'll go get more
Do I want to make blue lanterns? I think we'll just keep it this color for now. Now, the deep slate, I'm pretty sure, is from block z or 1 up until 16. So if we can go all the way down, we might be able to find some if we go mining. That looks like it's in the middle. I don't think that one can be in the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's not. I don't know what to do. Unless we go here where there's three. Do a double one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. still the same. Unless we don't put one in the middle. We should pretend it's in the middle. SP, hello, how are you today? I'm out. Okay, there, I dropped one in there. Uh, we need to build some carpet. That's what we need. You know what? Instead of dye, we can just go in with some shears. Which I don't have, but I can make... Uh, we're situated here in Australia. I can we do purple? <gasps> I have, do I have any? I have no space. Why does this always happen? What am I going to drop? Let's drop these. See, I can't make carpet. I need. <laughs> oh wait, can I? No, I need um, I need a crafting table. I could make a crafting table. If I put this, they they know what I'm. They know I'm trying to escape. There you go. Hehe. <laughs> Good luck. Now, where's the carpet? Oh, 
feel like I should go to bed though. I don't want any monsters. Look, the black actually looks so much better. We should put enough so we can get in from any point. We should put three or as many colors as there are. Ah, oh, that would be good. So we we'll put like a purple, magenta, and then a pink on the other side. Okay, I like that. I really do. I have no space, so let's get rid of some things. So now we can make pink carpet. They keep eating all the grass. Will they ever learn? Got to save some for later. make one of each color I need you to move sheep thank you I feel bad hitting them though oh well it is what it is <laughs> And then we can do light blue right here on this side. Yeah, I think that's okay. It'd be cool if there was four of every color. Well, not four of every color, but like four variants of that color. So then we could do it in the four corners. But I think it's all right. Perfect. Let's get rid of that one. Now I need pink. And I think um, we've done purple. We need magenta. Pretty sure we can just color them using the dye. No, we need the actual wool blocks. Okay, that makes sense. They don't want to eat and regenerate their wool. Why? Why are they doing that? Because they know what they're used for. They know that they're just there so I can harvest the colors. Even though I could simply dye each color. Um, but I think it's so much prettier doing it this way.
Move. Come on, move. They know what I'm trying to do and they're just trying to stop me. I don't want to hit it. There we go. I'm actually really liking how it's looking. We can do this next one and we've got four colors so we can do all four corners. I don't know how I'm getting back out now. <laughs> Oops. Didn't think that one through. Alright, we got all the colours. Um, how are we going to get out? Look at them all coming to get to escape. How dare they? We've got black, we've got um, dark grey, which would go, hold on, I'm confused which side I'm putting that one now. There we go. I think it's about time we get rid of this chest. It's just floating. There used to be um, uh, an automatic chicken farm that I had there. But I got rid of it. Because I had so many eggs. I'm like, you know what? It's okay. We don't need them at the moment. We could spawn so many chickens right now. But I think the chance in spawning a chicken out of 16 is about... Like maybe four, one in every four, possibly, if that's even correct. Should we just spawn some chickens for the fun, fun of it? I think that was three out of the 16. should keep them somewhere so then I can you know what so then we can breed them I not breed them so then we can eat them <laughs> look we need a, a food source somehow although I think they'll be able to escape with the carpets maybe I don't know I've never used the carpet method I don't mean to hit them. Okay, that's it. Look how many chickens there are just running around now. It's infested with chickens. I really like how we've changed it to black. Although now we need more dripstone. I uh, know dripstone, sorry. I keep calling it dripstone. We need more, but we don't have any. So for now, we're just going to have to leave it. Now we should probably try and build... Oh, look at the chicken run up. Build the little stalls. But I do want to get rid of this. Although I don't know what color I'm going to use now. But they're so not in line. So let's get rid of them.
Adam and Mark on Facebook. Hello, how are you going? Our Facebook has been playing up, so we haven't been able to see your messages, but we do appreciate the interaction. All right. Don't forget, guys, also that if you haven't started playing Minecraft or you've been thinking about it, jump on and start playing. It is available on Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, as well as your favorite retailers. So check it out. And if you have any questions, do send them through. That's all we're here to do. Help you with your questions. Okay. I do want to get rid of this as well. That is so satisfying. You just close your eyes and you just relax with those sound effects. It's also great about Minecraft. It's such a relaxing game, but then there are so many other variations of it that you can do the opposite of relaxing. You know, like if you were to purchase any of those worlds in the marketplace, ones where it's like sky block, where you're fighting to be the last one standing on that block, or if you're actually building things um, that require redstone, so you obviously need to be thinking a lot because you're, you know, making contraptions and stuff like that. So I like how Minecraft, you know, can be a bit for relaxing and it can also be for thinking and just having fun with friends, designing. You can do so much with Minecraft. It's crazy. If you just want to go exploring, you know, interact with all the different animals, see all the different biomes you can. If you want to make it super challenging, I've seen people make um, like puzzle worlds. It's just crazy. That's what's so great about Minecraft. It's honestly a game for anyone. Anyone can jump in and find something that they enjoy about it. So those chickens, well, one of the chicken must be producing eggs and that zombie just steals them. I bet you the chicken doesn't know where the egg's going. <laughs> right, let's just get this wood. So I want this tree to go. We might build a really big tree somewhere here. Baby chickens are so adorable. Okay, I've got to figure out what we're going to do. I did want to build like a stall with the barrels so then you can have um, wool and we can have dye. Just anything that's related to the sheep here. And I think we'll make them out of wood. I just don't know what color wood. Now how would us I don't know what design to make for the stall. Hmm. They've eaten all of their grass. That's why I need to expand it more. I also need more red dye. There's too many brown sheep in there. We need to turn that one to be red. And there are too many... Actually, no. There's two of every colour. There is. I thought, there were... I thought we were lacking a, a black one. Oh, okay. It's it's even. It's just this one. We just need the red dye. When did I do that? I honestly thought I needed one more black dye. That's good then. We just have um, one red sheep to make. Alright, how should we do this? I'm thinking we use... Maybe oak will look better. As a stall. I mean, I've seen the stall designs. We could use... But we don't have any deep slate. I think we just stick to wood. Or should we just make barrels? We can put item frames on here. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so we'll put item frames. 
Oh, okay. I know what we need. We need some... First of all, we need barrels. Now we can make barrels. We can make plenty of them. We need sticks. So let's make sticks. We also need trapdoors. That's what I want to use. I think I like the spruce trapdoor. But I think we'll just stick to oak. Don't know if I have any spruce wood. But spruce looks good and would match the barrels. Let's just stick to spruce for now. I mean, um, oak. Or should we use dark oak? You know, we'll make a variation of both and see which one that we like. Hello, trapdoors. There you are. I think we should stick to the one color. I do want to use stone in this mixture. We use stone bricks. Now they're just going to be a very basic store. They're not going to be very exotic. I need a crafting table, like, right next to me. <laughs> Can we make one? Yes, perfect. Oh, I put the wrong thing. Oh, I don't want anything to jump out. Oh, look, chicken's ready. Thank you. The baby chicken did not see anything. Just get rid of the... We'll just go to the one that's already made. Let's go to this one. It's already placed. Um, let's see what we can make. So I want to make some item... Maybe we can make some... Oh, I don't have enough glow ink, though. Okay, maybe we should go to bed. We'll make everything that we need in here.
Okay, perfect. We can make plenty of these. I'm gonna make six just in case. Um, what else do we need? So we're gonna put item frames up. Banners? Should we put a banner up to make it look good? Well, we can make those once we go up and we've got plenty of wool, which we will have. So we're going to have banners. We'll place some like other decorations, maybe some glow light and that would be pretty cool. Um, I obviously want to build like a like a roof so we, I'm thinking we make wooden planks but the slabs and use that yeah yeah we'll do the wooden slabs we don't want to put too much stone because it's going to clash with the deep slate Hmm. Anything I want to use in here? I mean, we can put signs up. I just don't have enough glow ink, which uh, we're going to need to get as well. We'll put some more of these. And I, what did I say I wanted to get? The glow lichen. Lichen. I think I have some upstairs, but we'll grab some more from here. Now, where did I put it? I don't remember. Oh, it's there. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, there's an egg. I don't know if I like the wooden planks, but I'm going to just leave it for now. And then we'll just have a slab over it. So it's nothing too fancy. It's very simple. Very simple. And we're going to put the coloured wool here. So we'll do... Um, put dye. We'll put the wool. And then in the other one, what should we put? Maybe carpet? I mean, we can always make carpet. I don't know. It's just three looks good. So we're going to keep it as three. And then on this side, first of all, we need a shovel. How do I not have a shovel? Unbreaking, nice. Okay, it's starting to break now. Let's just do what we need with it so we don't use as much of it. And the other one, I'm going to put hay because we obviously need something to breed them if, if 
we want to and probably some cheese in there as well I like that. I do. We just need more wood. Unless you put a crafting table in the middle. We'll put a... Now we just need... So we need one more barrel. Which will just go break the other one. And we need one more oak wood. And now we need to make some slabs. Oh, and, oh we can. I was like, why isn't it going up? Okay. So now let's just break this barrel. Great, I need the barrel. There it is. There's the wood that I need. Perfect. I just cannot wait to get more deep slate and then use it to finish this whole area off. Alright, so we need hay in one of these. And shears. That's what we need. Well, just look how chaotic this one is. It is way too crazy. I'm just trying to think what material should we make the roof out of? Should we just stick with oak? Probably best to just do oak. That's right. Doesn't stick to it. I think oak looks a little funny. But then I don't want too much stone. Maybe I should have done stone.
Okay, there we go. Um, probably need to just maybe go out one more. I was gonna do like a stone on the end. Actually, you know, I think that's too much. Too much wood. Yeah, I don't like it. We'll just stick to this. Um, I can always change it up later. Maybe use different colors of wood. D. D face. D. -f Hello, how are you? Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Alright, so we're going to put dye in this one. Okay, bone mill is a dye, but we can make a dye. So we'll just leave the bone mill in there for now. Then we'll have... Oh, we need... Um, Shall we use purple? Actually, I think we should use blue. So there's... Oh, you can't really tell that's dark. We need something that's shaped. Maybe you use the yellow. And then in the next one, I'm thinking, hmm, I don't know what to put in there. Maybe it could just stay empty for now. Did everything disappear? Wasn't there more out there? I think it disappeared. Maybe we can just put flowers in the other one in case we need dye. Hmm. Just I'm gonna leave it empty for now. Do you know what? We'll put carpet. There we go. So this place just needs some candles. So we'll put some um, lanterns. I don't know how that looks. What do we think? I'm going to test something right now. Okay, I know what we need to do. What do you mean for the achievement? So I've colored all the sheep. It took a while. We did not have any green dye. So we had to travel very far to get um, a cactus to then 
you know, get green dye, which we finally did, which is awesome. I'm just trying to make like a little store so then if I want to come get more um, more dye or more colored wool, it's here. Um, I need to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, I need more. I think I have more somewhere in a chest. Okay, perfect. So instead of this, let's use dirt. Let's just use straight dirt. Oh, I didn't grab the dirt. Sorry, right, I've got five dirt here. Oh, wait. Okay. I just realized what I'm trying to do. So I wanted to come down from that one. Alright, I know what we can do. We're going to need a different color. Maybe we should use stone. So do we have stone? Everything that I need, I always leave it in the other chest. It definitely does do you good if you sort out your inventory and you plan ahead and you know what you're going to need. So then you can literally just stay in the one spot. But it's alright, you learn. You learn. I didn't want to use stone because I was trying to avoid using um, different colors. But I mean, I think I'm going to like it. Or I could have used dark wood, but I think we'll stick with this one. Let's see how it's going to look. There might be too many planks. Yeah, I actually like that. I actually really like that. I like the look of it. I think it's perfect, actually. Very good. Let's do the other side. Ah, that's right. Yeah, I need to make a kelp farm. I do. I have so many things that I want to do. Um, I tend to have a balance between... What is that? I like to have a balance between exploring and building. So I've done plenty of exploring. We found one of the new dripstone biomes in the caves. We've also found... Um, what else did we find? We found the deep slate. So I want to go back get some more deep slate. But for now I'm just going to build whatever I can. I do need to build a kelp farm because... <laughs> The things I had to do to even find a cactus was crazy. So if we can create a farm, just like I want to create um, an automatic sugar farm as well. So I've got things that I want to do. I don't know how to make them like straight off the bat. So I do will do my research just like you would with a lot of things, especially if you are starting off to build things that you don't normally build. But yes, that is definitely on the agenda. Thank you, I appreciate that. It means a lot.
we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. We've got a big farm. I'm going to build a big stable. I'm going to build like a marketplace because eventually I will have villages here as well. Um, that's my tree house. Oh, really? So that's all you need. So all you need to do is put... Water. Um, do you need sand for the kelp farm? Wait, why did I go... Why did I do that? Oh... Okay, it's in line with it. It's not supposed to be on top. That makes sense. Oh, you can use dirt. Okay. Never made one of the farms, so I'm keen to try it out. Oh, great. There we go. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Alright, I think we're going to just place these down on top first. And then put the wooden planks underneath. I knew something was looking off. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so... So it needs to be at least 8 or deep so to be effective. As in a kelp... The kelp farm? Sten, hello, how are you today? Ah, okay, okay. I get that. Now, what was I coming over here for? Oh, that's right, I need to make um, another lantern. You love kelp. So it gives you a lot of XP, hey? Mm, interesting. I definitely need to make up for the fact that I've lost so, so much XP. So much. How cool are the candles? The candles are so good. I just, I want to just put them everywhere, but they don't really suit being outdoors. I think they're re they look good indoors, um, especially as a good decoration item. There we go, finally done. We need sticks, and then we also need a shovel, which I don't know why I don't have one. Just don't. Oh, I didn't build it in the middle. <laughs> That's fine. It's going to happen. I know, okay? I got to stop jumping into lava. I know this, and it's okay. Uh, 
Now, the reason why I'm leaving a gap is because I'm extending this out by one. Perfect. That's so helpful. Thank you for that. Why haven't I been doing this all this time? Where's the chickens? So this is just strictly a, a wool farm. Okay, so I got my wool, but I will need just a farm of basic sheep so I can mine, or well not mine them, I can farm them for meat. We do need that. Or we can just use beef, but I think I want to do lamb as well. Alright, I am going to... I actually really like how this is looking. It's just starting to look a lot more complete. The only thing is I need more deep slate. But for now it's fine. Just leave that like that. I'm really liking the look of this. I need to obviously fix this area. Maybe put more dirt. Yeah, put some more dirt. We need to get rid of this. Don't have an axe. That's fine. We can do it. get rid of it later. Um, yeah, I do want to then probably put some stairs. But what type of stairs? That's the thing. Maybe deep slate? So, although I'm going to be extending this fence so then they've got more space, I want to put something here. So, I was thinking either... Um, glass and do like like uh, poles maybe out of terracotta or out of the deeps plate just something to kind of break up the glass but then I don't know if I should put that or I should just put a fence maybe I should use um, leaves I just want to make it look really pretty but I want it sealed off that's the thing so whether with my farm and that's what I just decided what we're going to do. That's it. We need a lot of sand, first of all. Then I'm going to, it's going to be like a big dome. A massive, massive dome. Just to keep this sealed because these are my farm areas. And I don't want monsters coming in, paying a visit and boom, blowing it up. And yes, I'm referring to creepers. We don't want that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. We're going to need a lot of sand. A lot. And then I'll have to make it look pretty from the other side. Although, do I care? I'm not going to be looking at it from that side. Why will they come in if it's sealed? Unless they spawn inside. Is that why? I've had like in previous worlds places sealed off. Well, I mean it was still like accessible to the open. But they, um, yeah, monsters have spawned in the fences. But as long as they're spawning in the fence and then they don't have access to me. You know what I mean? So if a creeper was to spawn in here and I'm over here, it's not going to explode. At least I'll be able to spot it. Unless it spawns in this one, then that's going to be hard because they're pretty much the same color as the creeper. But I mean, I just want to stop monsters from venturing outside inside. If they spawn inside, that's out of my control. But at least I can control them coming from outside in. And that's what I want to do. I don't like how it's just open and how I can just fall off. I'd... You know me, I'm clumsy. We didn't have it sealed. 
So I'm gonna go get rid of everything in my pockets and we're gonna go get some sand. I do not think I even have any sand. Yeah, well, it's pretty lit up. Um, no monsters have been spawning there while I've been there. So, oh, yay, two sand. So I think we're going to be okay. Actually, I'll just keep what I've got. Let's get rid of everything. I'm just going to dump it all in here. And we can sort it out later. I had iron. There it is. Imalahad, thank you for joining in. Welcome. Let's go sleep. Now, I don't even know where there's going to be a large amount of sand. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be plenty outside the fence. I get that. But like I said, if I can stop them from coming in, that'll be great. Okay, we've got some glass. We're going to need way more glass. I've seen how much glass DJ has used in his build. That's probably the same amount that I need. I should have... We should go back to the, the desert and just steal all the glass there. <laughs> but that's way too far away. Um, maybe we can go to the swamp just here and take the sand there. Oh, that's right. I forgot I left my horse here. Oops. I need some dirt to patch up this hole. And then we're going to need a silk touch pickaxe of some sort because if we were to misplace uh, a glass, at least we can use a silk touch and not actually waste, just waste it. And sense I'm nearby. We only have 20. Okay, we've got one stack of 64. I was going to say, do we only have 29? Okay, I see plenty of sand over there. Hey, a boat! I wonder whose boat that is. Anyone who goes um, walking along the coast is just going to see patches of, of emptiness. And they're going to be like, was this always here? She's going to see no sand. It's all going to be missing. Fix 
it up later. That's a later problem. I should have brought more dirt with me so then I can patch it all patch it all up. See, who needs the desert? Not me. This is so satisfying. So one of my favorite things to do is use the shovel and just go digging. You no, know we'll build we'll build a port here. All right, so it's not like we're just gonna leave this. We'll leave it for now, but eventually we will, we will build a port. I have to. I can't just leave emptiness, empty patches. Just doesn't sit right with me. But for now, because I have a goal in mind, I can. satisfying Yeah, so we are playing the Minecraft Caves and Cliffs Part 1 update, which is available. Part 2 will be coming later in the year. So there's been quite a lot of additions with Part 1. Quite a few new blocks as well. You've got new mobs. So you've got the axolots, you've got mountain goats and glow squid, which are super cool. And I love how like you could just be sailing, um, rowing your boat and you'll spot them because they're very noticeable. You've got glow lichen. You've got the dripstone caves, which you do have to be careful of. Because if you fall, like if you're mining and you fall, just like you would fall into lava, you're going to die. Especially um, <laughs> if it's from a high point as well. Because they're very pointy. Skeleton. All right. I right, just left a big hole there. That's fine. No one's going to notice it. See, I use a lot of materials that require like melting in a furnace. Now, I know you can use kelp or you can use other things um, for fuel, but I use a lot of coal. It's just so easy to use. Alright, let's 
let's go. Let's go back home. That should be enough. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, st almost eight stacks of sand. That should be plenty for my dome. I feel bad for my horse. I'd let it go, but it's got diamond armor, so it's got to stay there. It's got grass. It can eat. Now, I do want to... Um... Oh, I've got more here. I would like to breed my bees so I've got more of them. I think you breed them with flowers. Bees? Hello? Right, I'll wait till they come back out and I'll breed them. Just gotta love those creepy sounds. You just gotta put in a normal furnace. Sleepy time. Let's see if the bees are out. What was that sound? Right, there must be a spider. Not sure where. Look how cool the candles are. So there's multiple colors. So there's, uh, with all the colors that you can um, use for dye, you can have for candles. Now you can't, you can pair up to four candles, just like the sea pickles, but they have to be the same color. Why is there always a creeper in my garden for? Okay, that was close. Where are my bees? There you go. I'll put them back. Okay, I am going to step away for a couple minutes. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to check out your favorite retailers as Minecraft is available. And you can also find it on Xbox Game Pass. Check it out if you have any questions regarding Minecraft. Let me know because I will be back to answer them. Um, don't go anywhere. I'm just going to put on some previously recorded content from this morning. So uh, stay tuned. I will be back.
you know what? I'm so proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone and attacking those monsters. So proud. I really hope there's not no lava under here. Okay. See, it takes, I think, around double the amount of time, or just under double, to break it if it's um, in deep slate. Let's get this diamond. Woohoo! One diamond. Very nice. <laughs> One diamond only. Okay, I do have a whole stack of 64 at home. I kind of remember the way back. It's not this way. This is the opposite way. But I want to see if there's anything down here. Oh, no. That's it. I think there's... Uh... Oh, wait. No, do we want to go down there? Probably not. So there must have been lava here before. I once upon a time had a diamond pickaxe, but it fell into lava. It fell back into the pits of once where it was made. Yeah, that went. And I did have a diamond sword once, and it had a pretty cool um, enchantment on it. I love the one with the fire enchantment, because when you kill animals, as bad as that sounds... You get uh, the, the food cooked for you. Okay, I'm going to go back into my little hole. I don't want to get lost here. Alright, let's use this. Oh no, I actually have no more torches. Ah, uh, whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna go. See if we can actually make it back. Oh, I thought I knew that was going to happen. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Alright, we need to make it back to one of the the mine paths, so then I can mine um, some wood and make torches. Whenever I see coal, I tend to just mine it because I feel like you can never have enough of it. Now I know there was a creeper back this way. I need 
need Okay, woohoo, we made it. Oh, there's slime somewhere. There's slime. I'm running away from that. Now, I want to find the lower levels of this abandoned mine. I've only found two chests. Where do we want to go? So that's the way back. Maybe we should explore this way. Hmm. There's got to be more. <gasps> Ouch. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> This is where I literally had just climbed. Alright, we can use the water to get back up. See what, what lies behind this wall. Maybe nothing. Maybe something. Although I think whatever wherever the slime is, it's above me. So I've managed to find my way back now a couple times. I'm thinking I just go and explore more of the lower levels. I want to find more diamond. I think I have heaps of iron. I don't actually. <laughs> but I think I put heaps of iron away before. Yeah, look, let's just go further down. Let's do it. Look at that skill. <laughs> okay, so that's where we went before and we found the lava. So let's go another way. It's very dark that way. I just want to find the cave. I think we're back where I started.
But if maybe I just need to dig down. Alrighty, hello everybody. My name is Amril Tok, and today we are continuing our awesome showcase of Minecraft, which is available at your favorite retailers. You can also find Mon Minecraft um, on Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which will give you access to over a hundred games in high definition on both PC and Xbox platforms, and you also get some Xbox Live Gold. So head to those links on our About page to find everything I've mentioned and more, including gift cards for your preferred platform, so you can purchase some Mine Queens in the marketplace where you can find loads of items, loads of skin, world texture packs, so many things there, so make sure you check it out. There are so many ways to play Minecraft and have an awesome time, but I'm playing the traditional Minecraft where we survive in a world, we build with the materials that we find, and we craft and just have fun doing so. And that's what I'm doing. So if you have any questions at all regarding Minecraft, make sure you do send them through that chat as we are here to interact with everyone and just have an awesome time showcasing one of my favorite games. The reason why it is one of my favorites is because it's just such an awesome game where I can relax. You know, if I want to build, if I just want to let my creative side run wild, I can. I literally have the freedom to do whatever I like. And that's what I love so much about Minecraft. It's just awesome. You can play by yourself, play with friends. You can even do couch co-op. It's just such an awesome game. Now, we need... We need um, uh, Silk Touch. Really, really, really want Silk Touch. So let's see if we can get that. Nah, I need Silk Touch. Right, I need level 30. Oh, we're so close to level 30. Shall we go kill some monsters? <laughs> now I'm waiting for my bees to come out. Maybe they're not in there anymore. Maybe they died. That would not be good, would it? I need level 30 <laughs> for Silk Touch. I know what we can do. Why is it so dark in there? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Look at all the chicken eggs in here. It's because you had the chickens that have been stuck and they've literally just dropped eggs. There was so many chicken eggs in there. What? Well, how else am I going to get XP? <laughs> they all have chicken eggs. He was holding a lot. A lot of chicken eggs. Alright, we're going to kill the salmon. We're just little amounts of XP. I left one chicken in there so I can always have chicken eggs. Oh, look, there's a whole family of drowned. This will, this should help me get to 30. Yeah. 
Yes, level 30. Thank you very much. Now when we go back home, we're going to have no more levels. That's all right. Oh, I feel so sorry, but... <laughs> I had to. I didn't, but I had to. Let's just say that. Alright, this is probably really bad of me to do, but I would love to have more chicken. Like, who needs an automatic chicken farm? Just have one of these. Which, I'm pretty sure you can make a chicken farm like this. I already got it in uh, heaps of eggs. So that's fine. Look, we can have a family of chickens living here. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the Caves and Cliffs update has dropped and it is awesome. So they've split it into two parts. You've got part one, which is the 1.17. It includes things like mountain goat, powdered snow. You've got axolots. You've got the um, dripstone biomes. You've even got the, the luscious cave as well. Now, from what I've heard, they might be hard to, to find in your world. So if you when you're creating a new world, you can spawn, um, you can have it so it's set to one biome or something like that, and you will be more likely to encounter it. Although I already did encounter the dripstone biome today. It wasn't huge, but I was able to get some dripstone for, from there. So there's quite a few new things in the part one update, Caves and Cliffs. It's been one of the most anticipated updates ever with Minecraft, ever. So here's my hard work that I put in this morning. I managed to finish all the colors of my sheep. So I've got yellow, I've got lime, and I've got green. Then I have brown, red, orange. I've got gray, dark gray, white, and black. Pink, magenta, purple, cyan, blue, and light blue. These ones are done. As you can see, I've got the deep slate, which is a new block in Minecraft. It is so awesome. The variance of it is incredible. Like this is tile, you've got brick, you've got slab. It's just crazy. Um, so this is what the finished product looks like. I ran out of the material, so the two over there aren't finished. But yeah, I made a carpet out of each color so I can have entry points. So then come inside with my shears and get more of the wool. So this is more of like a farming system. It's um, not automatic. I do have to go in and get it myself, but it's fun. I mean, I really love the colors, especially cyan and light blue. Magenta and purple are so nice and even lime. Lime is such a nice color. So it's really great Especially from up above with my different viewpoints just seeing all the colors. It looks cool Now what I'm building is like a dome So I'm gonna build be building um, glass which will be on the side here and then cover it So I had to go and get heaps and heaps of sand um, which I made into glass I still have a bit of sand left. We might get that in the furnace so we can have some more glass. Knowing me, I'm most likely going to run out. So I've made... Oh, we've got to go put... Oh, what? What does that burn? An iron ignit. An iron nugget. Okay, I did not know that was even possible. I did not know you could even do that. Yeah, you learn something new every day. You truly do, especially in Minecraft. I can guarantee there is something that you do not know. But you will learn it. Alright, finally we've got Silk Touch. So let's now we can get to building. Now I don't know what other I don't want to make it just all glass. Majority of it will, but I do want a foundation block. I don't know what that block is going to be. It's either get, it's most likely going to be stone because it's something I have um, a large amount of, or I was thinking like black stone using chiseled black stone. I think for now, I mean, let's have a look at what other black stone variations we can figure out. We'll take it with us.
<clears throat> Sorry, there's a zombie. Must be underneath somewhere. Because I don't see no zombie here. Yeah, I really like chiseled blackstone. I think we could use chiseled blackstone. It doesn't match the the uh, deep slate that much, but still, it's around the same um, color palette. It's either that or I use stone. I mean, I could use both. The deeps, the blackstone would go nice with stone as well. It's not like it's not gonna match. And again, like if you ever make something that you don't like, you can always um, change it up later as well. You just change the block around. Simple as that. Okay, I was like, where is his block? So these are the new blocks as well. Um, you've got the block of copper, and then you have the weathered cut copper. That would actually be really nice to use. So that's the weathered one. You've got oxidized cut copper, or you've got waxed oxidized cut copper. They look the same to me. I mean, waxed cut copper is quite nice. So you have to make those blocks. But they look the same. I don't know what the difference is. Should I use copper? Hmm. It's like, it is nice. The glass would look nice with it. I think we'll build... Oh, it's already night time. We'll build something else later with copper because I have heaps of it and I just need to create a bee farm so there's so many things I need to make but I'm doing one thing at a time you come up with new design ideas especially when when there's a new update and you are coming across new blocks as well look how good that looks besides the Eden grass the colors look sick I really like that I'm so happy with that I think we I did a really good job Oh, whoa, I was supposed to land in the water. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. I would like to use... I think the terracotta blocks would look so good as well. Mm, I gotta figure out what I'm doing. I mean, we can definitely start with the dome. Um, and then the decoration blocks I can figure out later. So I'm gonna be extending this out here. I would like to have the path to be too wide, although I think one wide is enough. But I've got two wide in between, that's the thing. See? Yeah, I'm gonna need to... for now one wide's fine on this side. We'll do two wide on this side. So we're gonna need dirt. Or we might use another block. So I'm thinking for the bottom, we use blackstone. And then we can do the glass. Although terracotta blocks would look so nice because the patterns you can make with uh, glazed terracotta 
is crazy. It is, they're so pretty. Um, each block, right, um, has, it's the same pattern, but it's rotated on different sides. So what you can do is you can actually uh, use, so you create a pattern with the four blocks, but you obviously use the different sides so then they connect. They're really pretty and um, with different dye, you can make different patterns as well. So each color has its own specific design, which is awesome. I'm just trying to think how I would incorporate it. I mean, I could use, like using the same color terracotta that matches the sheep and placing it nearby would look sick. It would look so good, but maybe I can um, create something with the terracotta further down. For now, we can just stick with the dome. We could always do like a terracotta um, a column, maybe. For now, let's just stick with what I want to do. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to go into my inventory space and see how many terracotta blocks there are. Actually, there'd be the amount of dye there is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We could do... Let's count how many blocks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. All right, just give me one moment, guys. Okay, so we said 27. So we could group the colors like we've done here. So we can do three. So it could be, obviously we'll do a glass block. So we'll do glass. Then we can do one, two, three. One, two, three. So we'll have purple, pink, magenta, glass. Then we can have... Um, what would be the next color? I'm going to try to do it in color order. That would be cool. We could have... Okay, we could have light blue, dark blue, cyan. Then we could have... We should do the four colors in the middle. So black, white, gray, light gray. Then we'd have one, two, three. One, two, three. We've got a spare, one, two, three, four, five. So we could do two glass, then one, two, three. We're just gonna have to waste that. Oh wait, no, no, I needed that there. <clears throat> three, 
three. And put maybe two here. We're going to need a lot of terracotta blocks. <laughs> so many. So we'll do the three. What are you looking at? We should do it in the color of the rainbow. Yeah, we should. Okay, regardless is going to be... I don't know why I did that again. <laughs> There's going to be two on the end, okay? We'll do two. So in case we want to get rid of this and do a um, like a column for the end. Ouch. Okay. Then we're going to, I mean, do I want it? Yeah, terracotta will look nice. It can either be terracotta or the color of the glass. Either way, uh, we're still going to need, we're going to keep the same column pattern. So we're doing that and then we'll do the color of the rainbow. So I think we should start off maybe the dark color on this side. So it'd be black, dark gray, so black, dark gray, light gray, white. Then it'll be, wait, am I going to put, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it in the order of the rainbow, but we'll keep a glass column in the middle to kind of break it up. So it's not just, oh, but it depends if I'm doing terracotta or light or glass. I think I should just do colored glass. Terracotta, we can do slabs of it on the floor to make it like a pretty flooring later. Okay, so if we do glass, it's going to be black. We've got dark gray, light gray, white. Then it would be, what color would we do next? Or it would be white, light gray, dark gray, black, brown, uh, or red, orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan, blue, light blue, purple, magenta, pink. Okay. They're going to be in the mid. We're going to have so much space left over. That's why I was thinking like columns of terracotta would be good. But we use the terracotta elsewhere. I think we should just do colored glass. It's so hard choosing what I want to do. <clears throat> so I, I strongly believe my bees had just ventured off somewhere else so that's the pink terracotta i think i'm just going to choose the terracotta block that i like and just do columns of it i think that'll look good uh we've just got to figure out what color i like so let's just pick up a terracotta block do i even have terracotta i know i've got light blue terracotta there So they're the colors. Now you won't know until you glaze them what they look like. Or if you look up um, online the patterns, you'll be able to see them there. So we've got 3, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4, so 16. Same amount of colors. So they're all the terracotta blocks that we can make.
We need a lot more clay. A lot more clay. So let's see what glazed light blue terracotta will look like. Um, it's okay. So I think light gray is my favorite to work with. have a look so light gray is nice there's a pad there's one with um it's got yellow and blue in it now most of these like i said you can actually group them into fours and they produce a really nice pattern like a combined pattern i'm thinking um Maybe light, maybe blue. Actually, cyan's quite nice. Okay, I think I've chosen my mind. Cyan. Made my mind up. Cyan and light gray are my two favorite. So do we have, we've got color, we've got, I think we've got cyan outside. Go to sleep. It's a little late. So we should have the color cyan outside. We obviously need green and I think another color to make cyan, possibly blue. Uh, we don't okay back downstairs we go yeah I think having a, at least one style of terracotta block will look really good because I do want to break up the glass although I don't want to have too many columns of terracotta just enough to like I said break up the glass Okay, so we need, I should have a cactus somewhere. Don't tell me it's back upstairs. I think it is. Let's go up. I really, really need to fix those stairs there so I have an easier way to it going up. Although I think I can use the vines, which I never do, but I know I can use them. Oh, we're going to need blue dye. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we need blue dye and green dye. So I'm guessing we're going back downstairs. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we could just use this. Okay, but before I use this, let me do something. I do also need a um, flower paddock, so then I can just have an abundance of flowers. So we might do the flower paddock nearby. There we go. I really hope it's the cyan terracotta that I liked. I would laugh if it's not. Alright, only one way to find out. I'm pretty sure it is, so let's see. We're glazing it. We're... Oh, it's the wrong one! Oh, no. That's not it. So what colour is it? It's not the one. Maybe it's orange. It's got to be orange. I really thought it was cyan. So the cyan block contains a creeper face. Okay, it's orange. The one that I like is orange. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I thought it was cyan. Because the way it was lined up in the photo that I was using, um, it was... <laughs> lined up to look like it was cyan okay that's fine um let's get some orange dye the sheep are laughing at me they're like hey. now i hope we can color this i hope otherwise we're stuck with cyan terracotta <laughs> let's get rid of the green and that's it for now So now I need an orange flower. Now if you're ever lacking a flower, all you need, like, you just see you've got one or two of them, then use bone meal and just make a huge amount of them. Bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. There it is. Okay, fingers crossed we can do what I really want to do. Oh, we can't. Okay. We're going to be stuck with the orange, no, the cyan terracotta because we cannot change the color. And I don't really want any creeper faces. So for now, we'll just leave it. But at least we know what we want to do. And that's use the orange terracotta. So I'm going to leave enough columns for it. Okay, it took us a while to figure that one out. But look, we did. We managed to figure it out. Just going to take some time to get all that clay now. Okay, 
Okay, so I reckon we do... So we said it's 27 long. Um, so there's nine goes into 27 three times. So we can do three. Or we do, I think we should do every four. So that'd be terracotta, one, two, three, four, terracotta, one, two, three, four, terracotta, one, two, three, four, terracotta. One, two, three, four. Terracotta. Unless you put terracotta on the end. Then one, two, three, four. Do terracotta. One, two, three, four. 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 Five terracotta <laughs> that's fine unless we do two rows of terracotta in the middle four terracotta one two three see so yeah, at least we got that glass block back uh, one two three four we can do terracotta terracotta then one two three four terracotta one two three four terracotta Perfect. I think that works out well. Although I think the two should probably be somewhere else. And then we can... Because we've got to keep this going, actually. Now it doesn't line up. There we go. That would be the middle terracotta. Okay, that works perfectly fine. So let's build this up now. I don't know how high we're going to go, but we're going to go very high. So it's two, three, four, five. It's going to be higher than that, but we just got to build everything up. Why? <laughs> I'm always putting it in the wrong spot. Oh look, there's a skeleton riding a spider. I love when the other mobs are on top of the other mobs. It's just a cool sight to see. Can I jump in the water? Yes, what a jump. I think that's a pretty decent height. Look at it. <laughs> Look at this the skeleton and the spider.
Okay, let's go to bed. Too many mobs. Too many mobs. Okay, we seriously need to get more. Oh, look! There was terracotta here this whole time. Hey, pink glazed terracotta is quite nice. That's perfect. Let's go up and make some orange terracotta. Can you eat a honeycomb? No, you can't. I don't know why I thought that. Really, really hope it's the colour we think it's going to be. I think we might make that a little... T Actually, mm, no, we do need to make it a bit taller. We do. Yes, it is. Look how pretty that is. I think I might just do random terracotta. So I really liked the pink that I had. That was quite nice. So it does depend where you stand. I should do a column of four so then I can duplicate the pattern. I should do that. It's going to be so hard to do that though. Yeah, because you need to be looking at it in different positions. I think we're not going to bother. We're just going to do a column of it. You need a lot of space when you're if you want to get the terracotta um, in different positions. I just want to figure out which one I like the most. I think I like that side. No, I dropped one. Now to go all the way around. just had a jump scare sorry guys so i'm thinking if we take this all the way down there we could potentially have enough to do each color of terracotta just have a column of it it's 
So we're going to start with, we just have random colors. We'll start with, um, should we do it in color order? So we have one. So every two, we then put it, we break the two. Okay. Let's see if it would work out. Oops, wrong spot. Oh, look at that. That's perfectly in line. That's a block of 64. Okay, a stack of 64, I mean. So, We should probably have a gap in between. Maybe we can have a... Oh, no, no, no. Let's use our silk touch. Maybe we'll have a break here. So then we can put a terracotta pole here. Terracotta pole there. And then we'll do the four again. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then do one, two. One, two. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then do one, two, one, two, three, four. Because then we'll have um, another chiseled one on this side for the terracotta. So let's count how many terracotta that is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's perfect. That is perfect. Now we have a column of every every color. Huh. That worked out so well. Okay, so then we're going to do white terracotta. We're going to do light gray, dark gray, black, brown, red, Orange is going here. There we go. All right, I feel really good now. Like we've sort, we what? We spent so long trying to figure out what we're doing exactly. But look, we now have it. It worked out perfectly. I'm super stoked. Hello, Harry. Hello, welcome. Thank you for that. Uh, I actually did find and I found enough to bring them back home with me. I will show you my cactus collection. I don't have as many now because I've used them to make green dye. But look, I have a cactus. I do need to make a kelp farm and just grow a large amount of cactus. Not just for me, but for everyone. Like you can have a cactus. You can have a cactus. Everyone's going to visit me for my cactus. We're going to have so many. But yes, it took a very long time to find them, but we finally did. And now we have all of our sheep colored. We have cyan. Where, uh, what are you staring at? Cyan's over there. We've got lime and green. So everyone is colored. Super happy about that. It took a while, but hey, sometimes patience is key. So where's the other terracotta that I have? Oh yeah, the, the cyan glazed terracotta. So then we might as well glaze the rest of the cyan. It's a, my, it's a creeper head. We're going to make the creeper head look at, look at us. It's so creepy. <laughs> Wait, how would we do it? No, even then it's facing the other way. 
Oh, okay, I know. We need to, um... What? Even then the face is not facing us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I know. I know. So let's figure out where cyan is going. So we've got orange, we have the door, then we're having what colour's going there? I think we said yellow. Yellow, lime, green, cyan. Yes, we have the creeper face staring at us now. Okay, perfect. Oh, why? I think we're going to go one high. One more high. And then maybe once we get to a certain point, we can have a pattern in the middle of different colored glass. But for now, I'm happy to keep it all one color. Does sheep ever sleep? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs> they ever sleep? <gasps> Ooh, uh, ouch. I have no food. I have zombie flesh, but we ain't eating that. All right, let's go get the rest of our creeper heads. Wow, that gave us a lot of a lot of food. Yay, our creeper heads. All right, I'm going to go to bed because I'm scared a monster's going to pop up. And then we can go grab the rest of the terracotta. I've only got a couple colors. I don't have all of them. There's 16. I'm going to need a lot more. A lot of clay. So we went on an adventure to look for um, a cactus. Done. We, I don't think we need any more at all. Now we need clay. That's it. All right, let's glaze the magenta one. Let's get that going. Can you glaze the terracotta? No. So you need to color it before you can glaze it. All right. That is all sweet. That's why I really encourage that before you start a survival world, go into creative and see all the different blocks. There's so many. I mean, terracotta, when you go into your crafting block, it's not even there. It's because it's something you can't craft. You have to glaze it. So you can craft the colored terracotta, but you have to then glaze it. So there are so many blocks that I can guarantee you don't even know exist until you go and look for it in creative. That's why I recommend you jump in, see all the different blocks that are there and have fun. Like go crazy with them. Mm. 
So we've got orange. I think what we're holding is red. Yeah, so then red's going to go next to it because we've got black, dark gray, light gray. No, sorry, white, light gray, dark gray, black, brown, red, orange. Oh, perfect. So good. Why are there so many creepers? Too many. Well, we still need more. <laughs> that sound is so, so loud. What else? What other colors? We've got pink and we have magenta. So it's going to be our red, orange, yellow. We said gr lime and then green. We've got sun. <gasps> oh, I thought we were going to fall there. <laughs> I freaked out for a second. I think that's the same amount. Use that. Pick that up later. Probably won't ever pick it up. Oh, so that actually matched. Oh no, it's one more. It's one high. Oh wait, it's the right height. <laughs> I'm just freaking out. No, it's the exact same height. I really got to stop doing that. One day I'm not going to realize how much health I have and just fall to my death. That was close. Okay, we should probably eat something and then see what other colors we have. So we've got, I think I have yellow. Oh, I don't have yellow. I've got pink and magenta. Now we said yellow was going here. We've got cyan, which would have yellow, green, lime, cyan. What's next? So we're going to have orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan. Oh, that's right. We're going to have blue. So dark blue. Oh, no, just blue. So only have one. Light blue. 
I don't think I have enough. 16 colours, am I right? Yeah, we've got black. No, sorry, we're doing white. Is there even a white terracotta? Let's have a look. There is. Yeah, white. Light grey. It's the exact same colours that I said. So we have white, light grey, dark grey, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, lime, green, cyan, blue, light blue, magenta. I must have counted wrong. Oh no, that's it then. Magenta. Purple? No, it'd be purple, magenta, pink. Uh, okay, no, we've, we've done right. We've done right. So let's put the magenta in. Magenta is going to be this one here. Now, what way do we want the arrows? Do we want the arrows facing different ways? I think we should have it facing the same way. So it's facing why did i do that i can't get out now that's right it's a gate there's a gate so if we face that way the arrow points left do we want that i think we'll just have the arrow pointing down just keep it simple now we got to eat because if i cop any more fall damage we may die <laughs> I feel like the dome could have been a little higher, but for now I'm just leaving it that height. Arrows pointing left. That's fine. We'll just leave it. I'm thinking we take the one shovel I have left. Actually, no. Let's make another shovel and we go and find some more clay. We're going to need a lot of clay. Oh, I've got a stick. I was like, do I not have any sticks? We've got them. We need a twinned tools. Actually, I'm thinking the swamp might have clay. But it's hard to see because of the color of the water. All right, let's collect it and go to bed. I am risking staying out with monsters. Bedtime. All right, good. We've got a huge amount that we can pick up from there. Oh, it's going to look so good. Look, my place 
it's not like one particular theme. You know, there's the stone, we've got deep slate, we've got wood, we've got grass, and now we've got glass with terracotta. So I like having a variety of different colors and different blocks, different textures. I just think it looks really good and it's I can express like my myself through it as well as I'm not just uh, I, th I think I'm, I'm quite different and I think I like a variety of things you know I don't just like pink as my favorite color or blue I like nearly every color so it's awesome that Minecraft has so many blocks for me to just play around with and use in my my home design it's so awesome and so fun. I absolutely love it. It's going to look so good. So good. I cannot wait till it's finished. Right, go to sleep. And then let's continue. Oh, it's just going to look so good. I should make it higher. Although if it's too high, or we could make it so it connects in the middle. Nah. Oh, should we do it so it's elevated? Yeah, we're so doing that. Now we've got to break down those layers that I built. If it wasn't the terracotta, I was going to use colored glass. But I thought the terracotta would look good because it's going to break up the glass a lot. Is that all sand? It's all sand. See if we can find some more. What have you got to trade? Hmm? Show me your goods. Oh, he's got a sea pickle. Oh, look what he's got. Pointed dripstone. No thanks. I got my own. You would think like the two stacks of 64 that we have is enough. It's not.
think after I collect a bit more, I'm going to go because I can hear the drowned. See, it only made a stack of 64. Alright, um, we need to start making some colours. need more coal let's go downstairs and grab some and we'll bring some more furnaces up here as well Okay, perfect. Let's go back upstairs. You know what? I should take the bed with me. I really should. Just going to make it easier to just sleep there and then go back to work without having to worry about going up and down. this many shovels I still need more coal So we're making orange. Just do a stack of each for now. Oh, that was yellow. Ah. Then we've got green. And I think I made enough light gray, didn't I?
So they should be light blue. Yeah. I knew that. The blue looks really good. I think that's probably my favorite now. And I think it's one short. Mm -hmm. um, I've got pink to put on the end. Okay, we, we need a lot more colors. Um, we need some white. I think I've got, oh, I don't have any more bone meal. I've got to go down and get some bone meal. Did I bring my bed up? I did, didn't I? Back to sleep we go. Oh, the yellow is very nice. No, <laughs> I was supposed to make that. Oh, yellow is really nice. It's going to be yellow, lime, and then we're going to have green. There we go. So we're going to start with placing this, we're going to um, make it go up instead of how it is at the moment. So we're going to need dirt. So we've got plenty of glass, which is good. Zigzag. I think I should just focus on one side first because it's getting really confusing now.
Oh, I should probably crouch so I do not fall. Right, this is going to look really good once it's done. Okay, I'm going to stick to one side first because I'm getting too confused with what I've done and what I haven't done yet. Put a glass one here like that. Okay. It's looking good. I think we'll do four for now and see how that looks. to make sure I'm breaking the right things. Makes it easier. The way we're doing it now is so much easier. So we can get rid of this one. thought I was not gonna make that one all right that's looking really good and then I don't know how high we're gonna take it maybe a little bit more I'm not too sure it's gonna look good and then we're gonna have the same like the terracotta going up as well not get over how good this looks it looks so good oh wait wrong block wrong block all right we're just we're gonna have to fall ah that looks good can I jump up and destroy it? I can't reach. That's fine. Yeah, it definitely looks better going up instead of flat across. For sure it looks better. Don't you agree, sheep? They agree. I 
I'm pretty sure I had more terracotta glazing. We should have light grey. Um, we've done green. Didn't I do light grey somewhere? Maybe not. I think I just have light grey dye. That's what we've got. Okay, we've got eight, which we know is not enough. We'll do two stacks, which means we're going to need another stack of orange and another stack of yellow. All right, let's get them melting. And light gray. Now, light gray is one of my favorite colors. It looks so, so good. Alright, we have to get blue going as well. Is that much the same? No. There we go. Yeah, it depends where you look. Okay. Um, perfect. That wasn't meant to happen. Oh, why am I using turf for? Pay attention, Steph. Pay attention. We're slowly running out of glass. Now, I don't remember how I did this Minecraft head. Don't remember. It's alright, we'll figure it out. I think I was facing... They're all different. <laughs> uh, we gotta... I want it to be the same. Let's figure it out. forgot about lightning and that's terrifying do I have green I don't have green oh no I really need to have more food. Maybe if I hold the pork out, the lightning will strike it and cook it for me. 
That's why it's good to have like a fire aspect sword because when you kill your animals, the meat's already cooked for you. Which just, it's just perfect. Right, we're gonna need to... Did we fall in the water last time? Perfect! Look at that! Sleep time. Actually, we need to cook food, so let's cook this raw pork. Alright, hopefully it stops raining. I just can't wait to have the dome complete. Now, I know it's going to take a while. I'm prepared. Oh, it light grey is so nice. I need food, <laughs> I just realised. Oh, wrong block. We need dirt. I reckon we go one more. Let's go one more high. We could keep it going higher. Because we use eight blocks to go up and then we've we've used four so far to go up. Unless we do eight and then eight again. Wow, that is a lot of glass that we need. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to go too high. That should be like surely that's enough. <laughs> it is so high. It's it's five. No, it's six blocks up. All right, that's enough for now.
We need more. Running out. All right, we have one stack of 64, which we know is not enough, but we've got most of the job done. Okay, do I have red? I don't have red. So we're missing quite a, co uh, quite a lot of colors. Um, we've got yellow, so we can continue with yellow. And we have orange. Oh, I thought that was a creeper in there. It looked like a creeper. Right, the only thing is we're going to run out of dirt. Oh, why did I break that? I have a silk touch pickaxe for a reason. Okay, we got it. Ah, we got both of them. I just got to figure out which way I placed the block. There. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the same. is quite scary to do like the wrong one wrong move and we're gonna fall I don't know why we did that in the middle Okay, let's use the silk touch to break it. Alright, we're out of dirt. We're out of dirt, so let's go get some more. Now, instead of falling to our death, let's fall in the water. Just... Yeah, that's the perfect amount. I don't want it to be too high. I think that's pretty good. I'm not going to make it come down. I'm just going to keep it flat. I'm going to so keep it going up. No, I think flat. Now, I don't know, I don't even know where it's going to end. This looks, it just looks good. I think I'm going to clear the dirt. It's, it's throwing the, the pattern off a bit. There we go, almost done. 
<laughs> oh, no. Oh, why'd I do that? That's alright, we got it all back. Yeah, it, it's going to look so good once we have all of the terracotta stacked up. Like, look how good that one looks, and then the orange is done as well, but we've got all the dirt there. So let's clear the dirt, just so we can actually see what it looks like. It's going to look really, really good. Okay, oops, up we go. I try not to make the same mistake and I ended up doing that. <laughs> Even worse. we stop floor, uh, falling, falling into the, the lower levels. Oh, actually we needed the, we'll leave that for now. That's a later problem. All right, this looks so, so good. I'm really happy with my progress. It's gonna look good. I'm really happy with this decision. So we're basically trapping everyone in one cozy little place. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep it going up or I'll just start going straight across. Because if it keeps going up, it's going to be very high. Whereas I think the level that it's at at the moment is pretty decent. So then we just need to bring everything across. And I'm going to stop it probably around like here. So it'll be open to my tree house, but it'll be closed off to the other side. Because eventually we're going to have all this side closed off as well. So I've got a lot of things that I'm doing. A lot of things. I just think it looks good because we've incorporated all the colors with the sheep. Now we're incorporating it all with the terracotta. And I think it just fits perfectly. So we're missing a couple colors though. So let's get rid of the yellow dye. I don't think we need that anymore. Or the orange dye. Actually, what we'll do is we're going to put terracotta blocks in here. Rather than carpet. Because the carpet can just go with the wool. There we go. Alrighty. Is that my inventory sorted? No, we've got green dye. Alright, so we made a lot of progress today. We managed to get some deep sleep uh, we, as we went mining and exploring after we finally found the desert where we took cactus so then we could have green dye. We've started to build this dome. So that's a lot of sand and I'm down to 38. So we need to go obviously get some more sand, which we will do. We've finished our sheep colors. So we've got green, lime, yellow, Orange, brown, red. We've got white, gray, dark gray, black. We've got purple, cyan, no, purple, pink, magenta, cyan, 
light blue and blue. These are my, this is my favorite pen, this color here. Yes, that's right, you sheep, you are my favorite. Oh, it just turned around. It looks so good. And we built these little stores which uh, have hay so we can feed them, breed, and we've got lots of, what's that sound? We've got lots of shears there. And then on this side, we have our terracotta blocks. We've got our hay, oh, not our hay, sorry, our, what's it called? Wool. I was about to call it fur. It's wool. And then we've got the um, the actual colors there to use. I do need to open these up and I need to go get some more deep slate. So deep slate is on levels, I think from 16 below is where you need to find it. So we are way above 16. But once we go mining again, we'll have to get some. It's been good. It has been good. Lots of um progress today. Next time we're here, we're going to finish this dome, do all the terracotta. So we need more clay and we're going to... We're going to feed my sheep because I think they're hungry. They just don't stop. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Minecraft is available not only at your favorite retailers, but also on Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate, which will give you access to loads of games in high definition on both PC and Xbox platforms. And you also get some Xbox Live Gold. Check it out. You can find those gift cards um, as well for mine coins um, at our favorite retailer so those links on our about page will take you right to them where you can find the game you can find gift cards and game pass access so check it all out minecraft is not just about surviving it's creating it's having fun with you with your friends with your family it's an awesome awesome game so we're going to save it and i'm going to show you the marketplace where you can find so many loads of things you've got the new caves and cliffs update part one which came out and it is awesome it's brought us way way new features and there's still part two coming later on in the year. But you can see the marketplace has things like city living. You've got lots of skin packs, worlds, textures and more. And you can check out what is new as well. So Minecraft is not just crafting and mining. There is so much more to it. And I guarantee you will find something that you love about it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite games, if not my absolute favorite. It's awesome to relax, have fun. There's even a maze that you can buy. It's awesome and it's such a great way to show the support to the community. So check it all out. We'll be back on... Actually, we won't. Tomorrow is E3. So tune in to see um, the E3 streams as we'll be showcasing that here at Interactive Studios. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back next week with some... My, well, not next week, the week after with Minecraft Dungeons, so make sure you tune in for that. Have an awesome morning, afternoon, or night, and everything I've mentioned will be found on those links on our About page, so make sure you guys check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in as I showcase the Minecraft. It is available. Check it out. Uh, have an awesome time. We will see you all next week.